Hey guys and welcome to another video. So before we start, make sure you've seen either the paper butterfly knife video or the super slow paper butterfly knife video and make sure you understand how to make them so this video will make more sense to you. So the other day I was making another butterfly knife because someone ordered one. I found out a way to make it easier. So we start with a normal five pieces of paper, no, two layers thick, with cardstock. If you, you probably understand if you've seen my other videos. So basically, you get them, but instead of sticking four pieces together, you stick two together, and the last piece is still folded in half. So that will still be the same. So the only difference is that. Instead of making one of them four layers thick, you're making two pieces that's t both two layers thick. So firstly, it's easier to cut. And also, since it's only two layers, for the big knife, so the one that was thick, you want three, you want to draw, trace out three. And for the short one, you want to trace out two. And for the handles, you can either do trace out two of each, or you could make four if you want. So if you're doing two of each, just keep in mind that the handle you make is only going to be two layers thick, which means that it's only going to be a showpiece. So if you want to, I don't know, do stress tests or something, I don't recommend you make it two layers because if you're just gonna keep swinging around and randomly go around and stab stuff it's not gonna last very long so basically what's gonna happen is that if you want to trace out two of each you want to you're not gonna have enough space on one paper so you could always trace it on the other piece of paper you have so that's basically with tracing and cutting. So for the actual big blade itself, you also want to trace out this small end here around two of the blade's edge. So after you finish cutting them, you have something like this. So basically if you glue it together, it's going to have that little piece of line there. So basically that makes it look more like the in-game knife. And that is also the other reason why it's good to make it two layers. So if it was four layers, then the blade is going to be super thick and it's probably not even going to look like a knife. It's probably just going to look like a bunch of paper glued together. So this is what it will look like if you glue it together. And I will recommend you to put some super glue at the front because it is pretty thin. And if you are going to like do stress tests, it's not probably not going to work. So this is what happens if you put a skin on it. You only want to put the painting on the outside, but not on that little part there. So you have this cool as white blade looking thing. So with the other two short blade on the outside, you want to cut this in the middle. And you understand why I painted the other knife before I glued these on. So after I glued them on and finished doing a paint job, you get to have this really cool looking finish painted look under it. So which is the reason why you want to paint it first on the big blade and then glue it on and then paint it again.
so yeah I've also made it uh, I made a new version for the latch because the old one was first too short and it doesn't do the job good enough and also these pieces are cut from the folded short piece of paper and they are just around a bit thicker than the blade so basically what these are is the support for the handles and you want to cut it around from the outside of the circle to the other one so that's how big you want it to be so that when it's attached to the blade it could turn freely without hitting anything and also you want to cut out the small lines for gripping on the top handle instead of just getting a file or a knife to cut it because this is more in detail and it feels better in hand so it's gonna get that to focus and yeah it doesn't matter how many you cut it all I did was some random number and then I just did exactly the same number of both of the handles so this is a finished product and that's the latch it works pretty well it works better than before and that's the support for the handles and as you can see it's not too thick so I believe two layers is pretty good for the handles and sorry about how messy the back is because I, I couldn't be bothered to clean my table but yeah here's the finished product this one spins much better because it's probably because of um how thick the handle is you probably made it to spin better but yeah so this is my new version and I think it looks way cooler the latch works better so you can see that that small gap there clips onto the end and it's kind of hard to do it with one hand so you can't really see it actually getting stuck in place but if you do use two hand it's going to stay So basically, this one was made because um, someone wanted to buy a knife and they paid me money and I still haven't made it and they paid it like a few months ago. So I hope you enjoyed this to the person that bought this and also um, just to warn you, the latch can break easily. So also, um, a lot of people don't know where they could buy my butterfly knife and I'll show you so if you go to my patreon page the links are usually at the end of the video or you could just search up www.patreon.com slash datfish so basically my first one is if you pay six dollars a month I will be sending you a butterfly knife with your choice of a skin of your choice and the f the person that bought it right now only had to cost five dollars but then I realized patreon takes tax so I made it six dollars and there's only one person left that could get it for six dollars five people left that could get it for thirty thirteen dollars and also you also need to pay shipping because I'm cheap but the normal price of this will be twenty one dollars and you probably wanted to buy more early because I might change the price later because you know ma making these knives takes a while and it's really time-consuming so 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my slow butterfly knife version. It's, I, I believe it's a pretty good video because right now it doesn't have any dislikes. So, good job guys for actually liking my videos. I mean, I do spend quite a lot of time making them. And basically, the reason I made this video is because this knife actually took way less. I think I only spent about like, probably, I don't know, less than two hours making the knife because it was much easier to cut and the way of making the support for the handle is also much easier. But that's only if you have super glue. And when you're using super glue, it does get pretty messy. Because, like, right now, all my fingers are feeling really weird with super glue on them and permanent marker because painting. But anyway, like it if you do, subscribe if you want to watch more, and leave a comment below for questions or what you want me to make next. And also give me suggestions on how to improve my videos. And I would also like to thank my Patreon supporter. And peace out, guys.